Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game dev log on the Blue Dots Expedition, a turn-based strategy flight game. Well, it's been submitted. What now? Unfortunately, due to a combination of burnout, personal obligations, and a live showing this week, I wasn't able to get as much done as I would like to. But I got some stuff to share, so let's get into it. So, I made a lot of additions in the last few weeks. A lot of it undocumented and just doing its thing. Great for game jams and small projects, not great for mid-sized projects or if it's just made by one person. A lot of this week was adding summaries, putting functions into regions, sometimes regions within regions. Nothing too major, but it will help out in the long term. Also trying to make a habit of adding summaries right away. One feature I worked right when I finished last week's devlog was to help improve the clarity in the strategy screen. Sometimes when the player would try to collide with an enemy, it wouldn't always register when it feels like it should've. I made the collision much more clearer by adding exclamation points. When the player and the enemy ships collide, it'll show an exclamation bubble and change the number of exclamation points depending on how many players are jumping into battle, making it much more apparent. Another feature I started was making the enemies more versatile. Right now, all they do is bold charge their targets, but don't do much of anything else. I started I mitigating this with the strategy beam enemies somewhat by doing what they do in the flight mode and having them do it in the strategy mode, leaving beams like in Tron. Currently it's just for show right now, I gotta add some functionality for the ships to take damage while colliding, and also to optimize it so that there isn't just like 50 different colliders just sitting around. Once implemented, it should add some interesting choices and scenarios when dealing with the enemies. That's where all the new stuff ends, but I wanted to shed some light on some of the features I have planned. I want to eventually get on Rails mode finished. It functions, but it needs more clarity, more visual feedback, just more everything. I want the strategy enemies to be more versatile, having different speeds, accelerations, and different properties so that they're not just the same. Somewhat going back to the beam enemy, I wanted to make a condition where if the player gets rid of the primary enemy, meaning the enemy they look like in the strategy mode, but they still fail the mission, they'll switch to the next enemy in line and change the behaviors according to that enemy. That way you won't see a wandering or an aggro enemy shoot out a beam. I need to get the rest of the stats that are in the character select to transfer to the strategy mode, basically health and speed but the biggest one is health, and that's probably because I want health permanence. Right now, if the player fails the mission, they'll get knocked back, lose 30% of their health, then once they go back to another battle, health is refilled. What I want to do is make it so that whatever amount you left, that's the amount you have left in the strategy screen. In order to do that, I'll probably need to make an escape feature so the player can bail out when they need to. Opens up a safe escape, and a way for players to go all or nothing if they feel daring. I hope to get one or two of the features mentioned implemented soon. I don't want to give a specific deadline because that's easy to jinx. As usual, let me know what you think. And that'll be it for this week. Subscribe or join the Discord server if you like what I'm doing. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Take care of yourselves and have a good week.